We get to our El Primo kit, the Bionics kit. It's what I personally ride every day. It's one of the kits that we took to Nepal last year and rode through the Himalaya for three weeks. So they've been tested in very hard uh, off-road riding condition. Why is it such a good kit? A couple of reasons. Firstly, it's the only kit that generally has a level of intelligence to it. It'll actually analyze your pedaling and your amount of effort that you're putting in and consequently try to match you in a one-to-one -one ratio, okay? So it comes with a 9.8 amp hour battery. Two types of batteries, one that's on the center down tube like this. It does have another option with a rear rack battery, which we don't have here today. We prefer the down tube battery because of the weight distribution. The bike feels a lot better than having a motor and a battery on the back. The motor on the Bionics is always on the back. The ability for it to actually analyze what you're doing, it requires that the motor's in the rear. The other thing about the Bionics is it's dead silent. All the other kits do make some noise. The smaller kit's not that much, but the e-bike kit and the easy kit, you do hear them. It's not terribly noisy and it's certainly not like a petrol conversion that you might have seen around on the streets over the last couple of years, but it's, uh, you do hear them, whereas the Bionics is absolutely dead silent. The battery's locked on the frame like this. It has a really nice console that sits up here on the handlebars, which is detachable, and it's also backlit, and it gives you a hell of a lot of information, more than probably any other kit. So the other thing about the Bionics kit is it's the only kit that supports charging when you pedal or regeneration features, which is interesting because most people assume when they first seem to get introduced to e-bikes that you charge the battery when you pedal, which is not the case because typically when you're charging a battery, it creates a lot of resistance. Um, there's no free ride, basically. You can't get energy from nothing, so it actually makes it harder to pedal. So you don't, won't typically want that on. But when you're braking, it's nice to know that you're getting something back. So when you brake on the Bionic system, a little sensor on your handlebars tells the system that you're braking, and then from that, it'll actually start charging the battery, which creates a very nice rear resistance and helps you slow down. Now on a long tour, for example, when we went to Nepal last year, we did a lot of downhill riding, and doing downhill riding means that we were able to charge a lot, and we were getting pretty phenomenal range off, off one battery charge. The other thing about the Bionics, which is really amazing, is it has a really nice system here on the handlebars, which means you can adjust how much power the system gives you on what's called the CAN bus throttle. So you can use your hands here to adjust it, rather than having to take your hand off and go over to the console, which is what most of the other kits require you to do. It does have a little red button here, which is the throttle button. We kind of call it the uh, turbo button. Basically, that'll put you in full power um, and it will get, get you rocking up a, up, up a hill. You don't really use it like you would a twist throttle. It's really for certain circumstances where you want to get going really fast. Um, and it does suck the battery pretty quick, so you don't want to use it a lot. So that's the Bionic system. The Bionic system's got a two-year warranty. It's 1995 or 2050 with the rear rack battery option. The rear rack battery option does give you a rear light and it has a port that can run a front light off your battery, which is a nice feature. Uh, and it's a slightly bigger 10, 10 amp hour battery versus this one, which is 9.8. So that's the kits uh, at City Electric Bikes today.